So in this video, I'm going to try to see how we can set up a TRC real encrypting signal setup for your transfer out. I'm going to show you what you need and how to do this setup. Um, I have these Reggie's Trains TRC style signals. Uh, you cannot buy these anymore. These are he shut down his website for whatever reason. I don't know why. But um, I'm gonna just go over here and add some road and uh, do this real quick. So I'm just gonna add a little bit of road. You can do whatever you want to it. I just leave it like this or add the grade crossing in it, and that's about it. Um, okay, here are the signals you get with the pack. I'm just gonna use a safe tram ones real quick. A safe tram overhead style. Um, if you don't, just kind of make these face the road real quick. Uh, alright. Okay. Then you need these, these TRC4 trigger for closure of rail crossings. You're going to place them, one on both sides of the crossing. So one here, one here. Then you want to go to edit properties, and you want to go here. Um, then this... This system mostly like does naming, so you want to name this. I already I already have like 15 or 14 crossings in my map, so I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do 16 and one. And then, so the front radius of the trigger in meters is like how far away you want your train to detect, like your crossing to detect a train. I usually do 50 because it's pointing towards the crossing. And then I usually, if if you want, if you have mainline traffic, you want to use like bigger numbers. But if you have like short line traffic where it's like not as fast, you want to do like, I'm just going to do 150. Um, so, okay. And then I just do the same thing for this side. Alright. Okay. Then, you want to go to edit properties for the crossing signals. And you want to do the same thing. And I'm going to put the bells on. Um, these ones are the freeware crossings. These don't have all the fancy other fancy um, systems like the other ones do. So I'm just going to turn this on. And do the same thing as the other one. Alright. Don't forget you got to come back to the, to the triggers again and see if they're all connected. So you can see, 1, 3, and 4. So that's, these are the two signals. This is the other trigger. Alright, everything's set up. Now I'll just spawn a train and uh, I'll just spawn. I'll just do the, this one. Alright. Now I gotta add some more track. I was meaning to do that, I just forgot. Alright. So I'll save this real quick. Save. Okay. And I will just show the way this works. Alright, here we go.
Thank you.